In this video, I will demonstrate the system setup and the controller setup for the StepMash and HLT controller. These setups will need to be completed before using the controller for the first time. The blue buttons will be used for navigating back and forth between menus, move a cursor for function identification, and for value adjustment. The green button will be used for menu selection, function selection, and value selection. From the program selection screen, navigate to the system setup screen and press select to enter. MASH plus HLT control is a default setting for the controller. If using both control outputs, select this function. If using only the MASH output for heat exchange systems, move the cursor to the MASH only control. Under MASH only control, all HLT references are removed from all other displays. For this demonstration, I will select MASH plus HLT control. English is the default setting for the controller. Use the blue buttons to move the cursor to either the English units, degrees Fahrenheit, or to the metric units, degrees centigrade. For this demonstration, I will select English units. The system setup will be saved and we will be returned to the main menu. After system setup, the second action that needs to be taken is a controller setup before running the controller for the first time. Both MASH and HLT controllers are independently configurable for either on-off for gas burner control or for PI or PID for electric heat control. The factory default setting is for on-off. Do not use PI or PID control for gas solenoid valves. The duty cycle for PID control will not properly control a gas burner. Unignited gas may accumulate and may cause an explosion if ignited. I will now navigate to the controller setup screen and press the select button to enter. For the MASH controller setup, on off is the default control setting. Use the blue buttons to move the cursor to either the on off or PID for MASH control mode. I will select on off for this demonstration and proceed to the associated control setup. For on off selection, hysteresis will now display. 0.25 is the default setting for the controller. Hysteresis for this controller is single sided operation. The control output will turn off when the desired set point is reached and will turn on when the temperature drops below the desired set point minus the hysteresis value. Hysteresis is adjustable in quarter degree increments from 0.25 to 1 for degrees Fahrenheit and in eighth degree increments from 0.125 to 0.5 for degrees C. Use the blue buttons to increase or decrease the hysteresis. I will select the default value of 0.25 to complete the MASH controller setup and proceed to the HLT controller setup. For HLT controller, on off is again the default control setting. Use the blue buttons to move the cursor to either the on off or PID for HLT control mode. I will select PID for this demonstration and proceed to the associated control setup. For PID selection, proportional gain will display. 146 is a default setting for the controller and is adjustable from 1 to 999. If you know your brew system's dynamic characteristics, dead time, time constant, and gain, you can easily adjust the PID controller values using any one of a number of PID value optimization methodologies. Use the blue buttons to increase or decrease the proportional gain to the desired setting. If you are unfamiliar with your system's dynamic characteristics and PID calibration methodologies, accept the default settings by pressing the green select button for this and the next two MASH PID setup menus. Go to the PID Auto Calibrate in the main menu for PID calibration. 
I will select 146 for the game and proceed to the integral setup. 73 is the default setting for the controller integral and is adjustable from 1 to 999. Use the blue buttons to increase or decrease the integral gain to the desired setting. I will select 73 for the integral and proceed to the derivative gain setup. For the derivative, 0 is the factory default for the setting for the controller. A value of 0 derivative is a special function for this controller that will configure it to, as a PI only controller. PI control is recommended for direct heated systems. For heat exchange systems, some derivative gain is recommended but used conservatively. Any derivative value above zero will configure the controller to PID. Use the blue buttons to increase or decrease the derivative to the desired setting. I will select zero for the derivative, control settings will be saved, ending the controller setup and return us to the main menu.